bluebird, bluebird, sitting on my windowsill, singing. Hi guys! So today I am going to be doing a drugstore haul. I went to CVS to basically stock up on a few things like my powder, concealer, bronzer. I normally go to Target or Walmart whenever I want to stock up on cosmetics since it is cheaper to get it over there, but I had a lot of coupons to use at CVS, so I just decided to get everything from there. Here is basically everything that I got. There's a lot of things in here, so hopefully this video doesn't go on for too long, so I'm just gonna get started. The first thing is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. I've heard lots of great things about this brand, but I've never tried anything from them, so that's why I picked it up. I am all about dry shampoos. I don't wash my hair every day, so the days when I don't wash my hair, I love using dry shampoos, so Hopefully, I end up liking this one. Right now, I'm using Batiste, but that one is, it's a little bit on the pricey side. It's around eight or nine dollars, which is so expensive for a dry shampoo. So um, hopefully this one is good. This is, I think this was only for $3.99, so I was really happy about that. Let's see if it smells good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I. I'm not crazy over the scent, but it doesn't smell awful. So hopefully, again, hopefully I end up liking it. If I do end up liking it, I will let you guys know. Next is the Clean & Clear Morning Burst Body Wash. I've tried different brands of body wash, but I haven't tried this one from Clean & Clear. And this one, I think it was only $3.99, so that's the reason why I decided to pick it up. I have a text message. It's Arnold! Arnold is actually in Europe right now traveling, but I am going to be seeing him in a few days. I haven't seen him in two weeks, which is so crazy. So I'm going to, um, I'm meeting up with him in Indonesia and we're both going to Hong Kong, which is so exciting. I am just so, so excited for Hong Kong. I've never been there, so I am just really excited to see Hong Kong. <laughs> so as I was saying, I haven't tried any of the Clean & Clear body washes, so I just decided to pick this up. And plus, it says it smells like mango and papaya. So hopefully it does. I tried smelling it and it smells nothing like mango or papaya, but maybe once I apply it to my skin or something, I don't know, but hopefully I end up liking this. Okay, so next are these Freeman face masks. It's so hard to say masks. I can say mask, but I don't like it when there's an S at the end. It's such a tongue twister, but this one is the peel off mask in cucumber. Do you guys say cucumber or cucumber? My mom says cucumber. Is that a Filipino thing? You guys let me know in the comment section how you guys pronounce cucumber. But I say cucumber, my mom says cucumber. But I'm not a very big fan of cucumber scents, so hopefully this doesn't smell too bad once it's on my face. It doesn't smell, it doesn't smell too bad from the tube but hopefully I end up liking it. And this one is the Anti-Stress Mask in Dead Sea Minerals. This one smells amazing. It kind of smells like shampoo, so I'm definitely really excited to try them. I bought two of them because they were having a sale. I think it was two for seven dollars, so I had to get both of them to get my money's worth. <laughs> I also got this foundation from CoverGirl. This one is the Outlast, the Fabulous 3-in-1. I've heard so many girls rave about this, so I decided to get one for myself. I'm actually wearing it on my face right now. So far, I'm really loving it, but the only thing that I noticed is that it's a little bit on the drying side, so I had to use my moisturizer to set it off, but so far, I'm really Really liking it so I'll let you guys know if I like it further does that make sense I'll let you guys know if I ended up if I end up really liking it and I am in the shade 842 medium beige in case you guys were wondering so I got a few things from Maybelline they were having the buy one get one for 50% off so I had to take advantage of the deal but these are the 24 hour color tattoos I am absolutely obsessed with these I think I have about five or six in my collection already this one is the blue on buy which is a really nice blue color and this one is the bad to the bronze which is a really nice bronzy brown 
brown color. I actually have this in my collection already, but I've had it for almost a year now, so it's drying out. So I had to get me another one. I also got concealers. This one is the Dream Lumi Touch in ivory and this is my favorite concealer this is called the age rewind in neutralizer i have been using this concealer for months now it gives me great coverage it doesn't crease it's very long lasting so if you guys haven't tried this i highly recommend that you guys pick it up it's much cheaper to get it at target and walmart i think it's around seven six or eight dollars so i had to stock up on some of my favorite l'oreal products and this one is the Lenore Intense Liquid Liner and this is in carbon black. You guys know that I've been using this for years now, maybe two or even three years. I'm such a huge fan of this. It does an excellent job of doing winged out eyeliners. So if you guys haven't used this, you guys are missing out. But yeah, definitely check this out if you guys haven't tried this. I also stocked up on my L'Oreal True Match Powder and this is one of my holy grails. I love this so much. It gives me great coverage. Um, I love using this throughout the day when I just need a quick touch up. I actually um, I actually hit pan on my old one already. Here's proof for you guys. Right there, I hit pan. And in case you guys were wondering, I am in the shade W3 Nude Beige. I got two things from Brimmel, and the first one is the Scandalize Show Off Mascara. I can't remember if it was... It was either Emily Noel or from Head to Toe who was talking about this. It might have been Jen. I'm not sure, but I think she was raving about this, so um, I decided to pick it up and see what it's all about. I also got the Kate Moss Lipstick, and it's a really nice nude pink color. It's a little bit more on the nude side, and this one is called... I think this one is just called 101, but it's part of the Kate Moss collection. And I can't leave the drugstore without getting a nail polish, so I got this one from Revlon. It's part of the Brilliant Strength collection, and this is in Dazzle. It's a really nice coral pink color with hints of shimmer in it, so I'm really, really excited to try this one. The last thing that I got from CVS is this hair chalk, and it's by Splat. Splat or Splat? It might be Splat, but this is in Violet Sky. It's a really nice pinkish violet color. Am I the only one who thinks that this looks like Ivy from 90210? I think her name is Ivy, right? The surfer girl? It kind of looks like her, but... Yeah, it does look like her, right? I actually purchased these in different colors a few months back. I even posted an Instagram picture asking you guys if you wanted me to do a first impression video, but I lost them. I don't know what happened, so I got me another one. Let me know if you guys want me to do a first impression video on this. I know that Judy, it's Judy time. She loves doing first impression videos. I love watching those, so let me know if you guys want me to do one. So that's about it for this video you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Leave it down in the comment section. Also, if you have a video request, let me know on Facebook, Twitter. I'll leave everything down in the description box. And I think that's it. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!